Hi, I'm Matt. This is my channel, Sorters Passion. Today, I'm making a Matchbox-style pendant box in support of Team C. My wife has made this beautiful pendant. We're going to auction it along with the box that I'm about to make, with all proceeds going to Team C. This is a great charity event organised by Mr Beast, Matt Rover and Matt Fitzgerald. The idea is simple. For every dollar they raise, a pound of rubbish will be taken out of the oceans and the seas. On with the build! I found a small piece of walnut and some oak thins that I'm going to use for this project. First off, I'm going to cut the walnut to final dimensions. Next, I'm going to mark the centres of the holes that the pendant will sit in and use a punch on each. I then drill three overlapping holes 10mm deep, one large one for the body of the pendant and the other two for the bale and the chain. I'm going to route a channel on the back which will be part of the draw stop. I set up blocks on each side, I've added a backer board to prevent the piece slipping back into the router bit hole. To keep things safe, I'm using the masking tape and super glue trick that I learned from Crimson Guitars to attach a piece of wood that I can use as a handle. I'm making very shallow passes, lowering the piece onto the bit and moving it from one stop block to the other. I then raise the bit a few millimetres each time until I get to 5 millimetres. Now that's done, I can move on to the outer part of the box. First off, I run all the pieces through the thicknesser to ensure they are 7 millimetres in thickness. Because these pieces are so small, I don't fancy using the table saw, so I'm using the disc sander to make the 45 degree angles. Now I'll mark out the width I need on the box and draw a line on the other side and sand onto it. I do this for all four sides and then I cut them to length using the mitre saw. I'm using a little bit of tape to hold it down because I don't want to get my fingers close to it. Now I'll glue it all together. I'm trying not to overdo the glue so I don't get too much squeeze out on the inside. I use masking tape to hold down the corners while the glue sets. What makes the glue up more stressful? Running out of tape. Luckily, I had some in the house. Check for squeeze out on the inside first, and then leave the insert in whilst the glue sets, just to be sure it keeps its shape. Once the glue is set, I start looking at the joints and find a couple that aren't perfect. To fix this, I'm going to use super glue and fine sawdust. I use an nail and an applicator to add very small amounts of super glue to the slight gaps. Once set, I wrap sanding paper around a scrap strip of wood that fits inside so I can sand it smooth. Before final assembly, I'm going to add some furniture wax to the insert and also to the inside of the box. It'll add a nice finish and it also means that the box will slide a little bit easier.
I drilled a hole in the back of the sleeve, which will need a small dowel, which acts as a stopper. The dowel I have is a little bit too big, so I use the sander again to thin it down. Now to add the stopper to the box. Add a small amount of glue to the top of the dowel before hammering it into home to ensure it doesn't squeeze out. Once set, I then saw off the remainder of the dowel with a flush cut saw. To finish it off, I have one more coat of wax and we can call this one done. If you're interested in bidding on the pendant and the box, there'll be a link in the description below. Alternatively, you can still support Team Seas by going to their website teamseas.org and making a donation there. To see more of my wife's jewellery, please go to Fox Jewellery on Instagram. Until next time, stay safe and follow your passion.